Hi, today we're talking about the vocabulary of clothes in English. This is the first video in a three-part series. This week we're looking at nouns and adjectives used to describe clothes. This is useful for everyone, but particularly those of you taking exams, as you often have to describe people in photographs and it's good to be able to say what they're wearing. Next week we'll be looking at the verbs associated with clothes, particularly the phrasal verbs. And then in the final week we'll look at the idioms using clothes. So let's get started. First up, pronunciation. It's clothes, a word of just one syllable. It's an uncountable noun, so we can't say a clothes, but some clothes or an item of clothing. So let's look at the nouns used to describe clothes. Let's imagine someone uh, describing people and what they are wearing. That's Tom over there by the door. Can you see him? He's wearing jeans and trainers, a black and white striped cotton t-shirt and a red waistcoat. Or maybe at a fashion show. Zoe is wearing a stunning outfit. Of course, many people would say that high heels, a tartan skirt, a blouse with a floral pattern and a spotted silk scarf don't match. That is, they don't look good together, but these items are this season's must-have item of clothing. They are so fashionable. Or at the office, Mr. Brown always wears a short-sleeved shirt, plain trousers and a smart jacket, or sometimes a suit. He's always well-dressed. This means that he's always wearing smart clothes. At home, Jenny hangs around the house in an old, unfashionable pleated skirt. This means the fabric is folded, so the cloth is in folds. A sweatshirt or a hoodie and a pair of her granny's old slippers. Or on the beach, Bob is wearing a baggy pair of shorts with a horrible floral pattern. Baggy is used for clothes that are loose, not tight, and you have a lot of room in them. It's held up with a belt and a sleeveless t-shirt. The sleeve is the material that covers the arms. So sleeveless means that there's no material over the arms. This is a sleeveless top. A pair of sandals with long black socks and a cap to protect his head from the sun. He looks a sight. This means he looks awful in his clothes. Or maybe it's parents' advice on a cold day. Make sure you wear warm clothes, Tony. You will need a thick woolen jumper. Note here that in American English, it, it is spelt with just one L. Your Wellingtons, often shortened to wellies, those corduroys, and your brother's old overcoat. Oh, and don't forget your scarf, the checked one. Or for casual clothes, you could wear a bomber jacket and sweatpants or a tracksuit for doing sport or leggings. These are all comfortable clothes. This means that they're easy to wear and relaxing, not tight. This is very fashionable. This season's on-trend shoes are these with a buckle and now shoelaces are out of fashion. And in jewellery and accessories, that is things that we wear which are not clothes. We have a necklace which goes around the neck, uh, a bracelet that goes around your wrist, earrings which go through your ears and a ring which goes on your finger. We have a handbag and inside this we carry a purse which holds your money if you're a girl and a wallet if you're a boy. So now we have seen lots of vocabulary for clothes and how to describe them. We saw striped, spotted and checked, floral patterned or plain. We saw materials such as wool, silk or cotton and lots of adjectives to describe these items of clothing. I hope that helps you feel more confident describing clothes in English. 
So that's it for today. Remember to like this video if you found it useful, share it with your friends and colleagues learning English, and please remember to subscribe to my channel so as not to miss out on any new English language videos. And watch out for next week when we continue talking about clothes in English, and we'll be looking at the verbs to do with clothes. So bye-bye for now and thank you for watching.